Are you looking to produce more holes faster whilst improving process stability and tour life? Well, don't go anywhere, because in this video, you're gonna find out how. Steve, Walter, you've got a new drill. Hi, Joe. Yes, we have. It's the uh, Walter DC160 Extreme Evo uh, drill, uh, and it fits in our advanced lineup of solid carbide uh, drilling product. So when I say advanced, that means it's going to be mid-level for in terms of price and performance ratio. So we hear a lot about process stability. You know, how does the drill achieve this? So there's two things we've done with this drill. We've um, Firstly, we've uh, changed the, the geometry quite radically from the previous drill. Um, it's a double margin drill, as you can see here. And what we've done with the geometry is we've brought the position of that second margin forward towards the 140 degree point angle on the drill. And this, uh, this, this gives us a couple of benefits actually. And uh, firstly, when we engage in the workpiece material, uh, the drill positions and guides itself a lot sooner on entry. Um, and for that reason, we get a, a greater degree of process uh, uh, reliability and positional accuracy. But also for through hole machining, where we break out, particularly on a step or on a, uh, an angled exit, uh, the drill remains stable as that point breaks through the workpiece material. So that gives us uh, a higher degree of, mm -hmm. uh, of, of process stability overall. Uh, when we look at the accuracy, how does that affect an engineer? It seems an obvious question, but people are presuming they put a drill in a spindle and it's drilling at, at what they think. Well, that's exactly right. And you know, we talk about the, the double margin there, but the, this, this, the second uh, thing we've done with this drill is we've uh, given it a, a, a much... Um, uh, a much more softer geometry, if you like, as a, a higher degree of web thinning at the point. And, and again, that reduces feed force on, on entry. And if we reduce feed force, obviously, then the, the drill is going to follow a, a truer course in, in the workpiece material. So that's the, the second the second way we get that, that process reliability and, and uh, workpiece quality. Mm -hmm. And for our more observant of viewers, I noticed the, the drill is only half coated. What, what's the reason for this? You've got the coating at the front and the bright finish on the rear. That's right. So the, the drill has quite a wide range of diameters and length diameter ratios in the program, in the standard program. So the drill starts um, at, a, at a three times D ratio drill, and then that will go up uh, three, five, eight, uh, 12, 16, 20, 25, and 30 times D. So the drills three, five, and eight times D are fully coated on the flute length, you know, to give us that speed capability and tool life. Um, uh, in, in, the, in the target workpiece material. Once we get to 12 times D, the 12 times uh, D uh, ratio drills, we then uh, just coat the point only and leave the flutes br uh, bright. Mm -hmm. And that just uh, gives us, again, we, we spoke about process reliability, but that gives us a secure chip evacuation mm -hmm. down the flute, the drill. Um, and, and that point coating remains then on those uh, length diameter ratios right the way up to 30 times D. And there's a number of materials we're seeing here, both long chipping, short chipping, some quite easy to machine, quite challenging to machine as well, some of them. So where's this drill aimed at? What materials? So the, the, the drill is truly, as it says, universal mm -hmm. in its application area. It, it can be applied in any workpiece material. Um, so that's you know, all your carbon steels, ISO P, blue band carbon steels, your ISO M materials, your ISO N, if you've got any aluminium alloy or non-ferrous machining. Um, it's, 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 it's fine, it's competent at, in all materials. Um, you can see there, um, it, there's a, uh, the ISO M box is unchecked for the external coolant drills. So if you've got a solid drill with no through coolant, then we wouldn't expect uh, that to be applied in, in a high load steel or uh, a stainless material. But um, for through coolant drills as such in the range, all, all workpiece mm -hmm. materials. So we're talking three, all up to 30 times diameter. How, how about the diameter ratio? So diameter range, uh, three to 20 millimeters in the main. Um, there are a few exceptions. Um, so if you start at the three times D drill, whether that's through coolant or not, you'll get a three to 20 millimeter diameter drill. When you get to the five uh, times D length diameter ratio uh, range, then you get the uh, added um, benefit of drills up to 25 from three to 25 millimeter diameter. And then it's in the main three to 20 millimeters after that until you get to 12 times D, um, where it's uh, a maximum of 16 millimeters diameter. And then again, 
at 25 times D, it reduces down to 12 millimeters diameter as a maximum diameter up until 30 times D. Sure, it's, it's, it's a comprehensive range, isn't it? Pretty much any material up to 30 times diameter in most cases. Is this targeted at a particular sector or a particular size of, of machine shop? It's, tar it's, it's like I say, it's universal in, in its use. Uh, um, so workpiece materials, all workpiece materials and uh, all sectors as well. So we we'd, you know, we would be applying this in aerospace accounts and. Uh, or aerospace customers, sorry, and automotive customers, um, oil and gas, you know, general engineering, it, it, it truly is universal in, in its use. And for our viewers watching this, how do they find out more information about this product or any Walter product, I guess? Well, the first place is uh, the, the Walter website at walter-tools.com, uh, where you'll find um, all the relevant information. There's some product information, videos, the, the videos like you see here now and all the part number uh, information and, uh, and what have you. And then um, failing that, you just get in touch with Walter, um, uh, Walter Office and they'll put you in the right direction. There you are. Steve, thank you so much. And thank you at home for watching.